Hey guys, welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. Today I have something really, really, really special. I've been excited about this for a long time. Um, it's the Badger, my Epoch Badger in 40 cal. And the only thing difference is it's now in 375 caliber. That's right, not 357, 375. I'll kind of touch on why I chose 375 in a minute. Let's go over just a few key features here. Um, I changed the stock out to a Richards Microfit um, gun stock. It's the Wolverine uh, style, has a high comb, really nice comb on it. Um, also like the red and black and kind of gray color. It's just nice, something different. Um, also have a TJ's 375 cal barrel and it's right now it's about 28 28 no 28 and a half inches um, the OEM barrel is 28 and I wanted to keep everything symmetrical and within standards I didn't want to go with a 30 or 32 or 34 I don't like that's too long this is long enough so I kept the barrel down to 28 and a half inches and as you see on it there's a carbon fiber sleeve like I do on a lot of my barrels um, that's epoxy to the barrel for rigidity and also for looks. Um, the TJ barrels are unfinished and a lot of times I like to get my projects going and started. You know, the, uh, unfinished barrel means you got to ship it off to somebody. You got to wait 8 weeks, 12 weeks till somebody can either Cerakote it or, you know, whatever it is you have done. Uh, hydro dipped, uh, blued or whatever. And it's, it's, to me it's just, I like the carbon fiber look. You can't beat it and plus it adds rigidity. So, one of the other key features that I have here, and I don't know if I'll show you a close up later, is the front of the stock right here is bedded. What that means is I put a pillar bed in the stock and then took a uh, barrel band, turned it upside down, and mounted that to the stock. I had it custom made. The rear of the gun where you normally would bed, or where you normally would um, install the action to the gun, it's also pillar bedded. So the original mount is pillar bedded, aluminum pillar bedded, and so is the front of the gun. This gun sits like this, and when it kicks, it does not move. It can't go anywhere. Um, that's something I came up with. Um, I don't like the fact that these guns are only bedded uh, right here, especially big bores when you're making three, four, five, six hundred foot pounds. So I took it a step further and did something. I bedded it at the front. Um, this just is a prototype. It'll probably be here for a long time. I also have another idea how I want to, would like to bed like a future gun, but that's a whole nother thing, another story. So again, some of the key features, TJ 375 barrel, 28 and a half inches long, custom fitted and crowned by Doug Noble, uh, pillar bedded, aluminum pillar bedded here, and aluminum pillar bedded at the front. Also, the Richards Microfit uh, laminated stock. It's heavier than OEM, but this is also going to be a head. Uh, uh, it's a hunting gun slash, you know, 100, 200 yard target shooting gun too. It's going to serve dual purposes because you guys know I shoot long range. I'm going to push this gun to two, maybe even 250 yards, but I wanted something a little heavier that can absorb the recoil that this gun is going to be putting out. Um, so keep that in mind. Nothing wrong with the OEM stock. I still have it. It's super light. Um, if I ever want to change it back, I can easily put it back in. It's not a problem. Also, the other thing is the Morgan adjustable um, butt pad. I love these. It's something I do. It looks a lot better and uh, than the regular butt pad. And it just adds a little class to the gun. All right, guys. One of the last things that... Um, is going to aid me in accuracy is the original uh, barrel band can't be used on this barrel because the uh, carbon fiber is too thick and the barrel band is too thin so you can't mate the two together so the original barrel band is going to still be used on the original 40 cal barrel that's another thing this is going to be dual caliber all it takes is for me to pull the uh, 
um, barrel out of here and put the OEM barrel back in there and the barrel band and voila. It's going to be dual caliber, so it'll be 375 and 40. But my main concern is that it's uh, 375 for now. But the last feature that I wanted to talk about is going to aid in accuracy is the, the custom barrel band that my buddy RJ made. I'm going to have this thinned out and I'm also going to, uh, you know, anodize it uh, black or dark gray and add it on. And this thing is going to be accurate. I expect a lot of accuracy because it's pillar bedded front and back and it also has a barrel band. So the air tube, the action, the, the barrel cannot vibrate. When this gun fires, everything is still. When All right, shoots. guys, let's get this thing put together and uh, sight it in and start shooting. Um, I'm not going to do much paper uh, shooting today. It's just going to be steel plates and reactive targets. Like I said, it's a quick video. Just want to get this thing up and running and uh, let's see what she can do. All right. We're 155 yards out. We have a Folgers uh, coffee jug and a uh, the steel plate. Let's put five shots. Let's hit the uh, coffee jug first with the uh, accurate hollow point. And then we're gonna put five NSA flat points on the uh, on still. All right, here we go. Hollow point, milk jug or coffee jug. Just goofing off. All right. All right. So we're going to hold over three mil dots. Let's go for it. kind of cool the uh, first shot <laughs> hit almost in the center and it made like a little splotch to the right well that one splotch is where I'm aiming so go figure I have an aiming point now that's awesome I like when a plan comes together Wind just picked up, but I'm not not scared. Fifth shot. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Let's go take a look. Way back there, sitting at the table. Now I'm at the target. Okay, there's the group, guys. I'm aiming right here in this little dirt splotch. That's where I was aiming before it became a dirt splotch. I guess the bullet, uh, the first bullet, which I think is this one, hit the dirt and kicked up some dirt this way. Now that dirt became my aiming spot. So every time I, I did as best I can to hold here. But I mean, you're still talking, you know, that's a uh, inch and a half, man. This MOA, inch and a half groups. So it's holding MOA. And that's what a, it's, it's not making enough power. I mean, it's still, factory tune I mean it's the 350 foot pounds somewhere in there 300 and 
40, 350 somewhere. All right, guys, a little further back. One hundred and seventy yards. Gonna do the same thing again, same test. Real close, guys. <laughs> Dang. 170 yards right down the top. We're going to go look at that when we're done. Wow, this is the first outing. Let's do that again with the next, the coffee can on top. Man, 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 man. That's freaking awesome. All right, let's put five on the steel plate, guys. <laughs> Further we go out, the harder this gets. Damn it, damn it. I pulled it. Whew, this is where I mess up, but that's all right. <laughs> Let's watch that one more time, man. We're going to do that one more time. All right, guys. 170 yards. Let's try that again. Over the next six shots, the video is not edited. I will let it play in real right time. Right through the white label. Touching the same hole. Same hole. Same hole, 170 yards, guys. Dead serious on this. There you go. 
go. That's got to be, <laughs> man, that's probably a one inch group, man, at 170 yards. Let's go down range, guys. We got to see this. All right, guys, on the uh, right through the middle, no damage around the rim. Exited right out the back. Right there. There's the top that's undamaged, the actual lid. And boom, right through it. 170 yards with the 375 right through the lid. Pretty good. And that gives you a little reference how big the top is. Wow, guys, wow, wow, wow. Man, let's take a look at this group. Holy, 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 holy cow. 170 yards people and you can still see the little splatters two three four I mean man that's a one inch group dude I mean, you could still see the splatters I mean literally that's <laughs> That's a one inch group, guys. That's one inch at 170 yards. One inch at 170 freaking yards. I'm way back there on the table. That's 20 power zoom camera's all the way up zoomed in it's all the way zoomed back 170 yards 